Okay, I'm Sylvester Turner again. Welcome back to virtualsongwriter.net. Today we're just gonna just set up what is on this video. <laughs> just gonna set up and do a setup of uh, getting ready to record and just getting set up to how you want to do um, get your recording session uh, started. So we just start with that right here. Okay, what we do is you go to the file menu and you open up a. Oh, we just start with a little new. We start with a little new here, and then just type a name. We call it. Um, I'm gonna call it you. Call it YouTube. U dash two. U B E. All right. And I always save it all of the store in its own folder. Now I start with 16 tracks. Cause that's all I do. But then we I don't want four actual audio tracks. So I'll go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. Well, we already have that name, so. We we just change names. Now we just call it start. S T A start starting. Okay. T mm -hmm. Okay. We just try to start. Just for the sake of it, I start with sixteen channels tracks, and then now let it come. Now I don't want all those tracks. Spit all the tracks. I like I, I rather add them. So I just Hit control and then just highlight and then we just highlight I, I, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get it down to four tracks so I do that can go to four highlight all of them then the right click delete delete tracks now I have four audio tracks which I all I want and I have the timeline set for that now you see I have the record and everything so I want to get the count in so up here I hit the count in for, for the counting beats. Then I take it to four because you want to you want to count in right there. So just kind of have that now, and you can set this up any way you want. If you want something right here, you can hold it right there, right, and drag it to there. And now my save, my save is right here. But I'm used to it being on that side, so I right click, left click it, and then drag it back over there. And you can go to this the view. And you can go to see the, the uh, toolbar. So if you want to see what you want, you hit it right here and it'll pop up here. You see if that's what you want. If we go to marking, see how that it went on there. Well, I don't want that. Now the metron, if I don't want the metrodome, I can take that out. But I do want that. Now if you notice, I'm hit take it out. See there, now it's going again. But I want that record button. It's, it's already on there. You can have the transport was good. Uh, but we already have that in there, so we don't need one. And then you have the the large transport. That's a good one. Here it's over there. You can move it around. Um, some people like it. I just generally don't. So I just just delete it too. And I just hit close because I have it set up pretty much what like I want. Then you have to see what kind of song songs you're gonna do. Um, you can go to insert a virtual instrument. We're gonna we're gonna use the same the same channel on all administration. So I'm gonna go and get a get to, go to Cakewalk. TTS. All right, we're gonna, and we know that we have that one, and then we're gonna have to cut the little audio speakers on. So we'll just pause for just a second here. Well, we're not gonna worry about too much about the audio just yet. We're gonna let me show you how to quickly set it up. So I have that up there, and you drag this how you want it. You see, it goes out, and you have to see what all you want in there. I like to go where it's gonna have the arpeggiator, which is the new in in sonar. Eight and it's, it's it's nice too. I'll show you how, how you can use that to help write your songs. Um, and see there it is right there. So if I have it too small, I won't see it. But you can still see it. But you want to get it where everything is out. And I stop out right there because I want at least to record and everything on there. And then if I, I know I'm gonna use a guitar, so I'm gonna click on the little cakewalk um, right there. And the little piano, little keyboard. I'm gonna click it on, and then I'm just gonna pick a guitar. Uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna eventually use the acoustic guitar on. So I go in and click acoustic guitar, then you just pick one you like. And now that track gonna be an acoustic guitar. Now, if you notice, I have four tracks here, five and six. Um, that's not gonna gonna work too good. But I'm, I'm gonna zoom in on that one and, and show you just what I mean on 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 that part of
and the zoom on them. Now, I don't like this because it gives you a fake track. It's a mini track. Technically, you only have five tra tracks, but that counts as six. So what we do is we, we, we're going to right click this one. We're going to right click and, and then we're going to hit, um, it's just a mate instrument track. So now we do have actual five tracks and direct tracks and we have the pregiator, our pagiator on there and still have everything showed. So we can, uh, we have actual five tracks when we show it. Now, if you notice I lost that other track, so I have to go back up here again, click that on, go to guitars, acoustic guitar, and now we have that how we want it. You still do have a cakewalk in there, and you go up here, and, and we'll just set the uh, um, mixer there.